The National Monetary Fund, IMF, is predicting a recovery but slower economic growth for sub-Saharan Africa in 2018, largely driven by a more supportive external environment. However, rising public debt and vulnerable financial systems are still threatening many economies. At the launch of the 2018 Regional Economic Outlook for Sub-Saharan Africa, the Vice President, Dr. Balmia, said it is important to sustain fiscal discipline and mobilize more revenue. The IMF says growth in sub-Saharan Africa was 2.7% in 2017, but this is expected to reach 3.5% in 2018. According to the Bretton Woods Institution, economies such as Côte d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Ghana and Senegal are expected to maintain robust growth at about 6% or faster. But countries that saw per capita incomes fall in 2017 could witness a further decline this year. The IMF says 15 of the region's 35 low-income countries are now rated to be in debt distress or at high risk of debt distress. And this has translated into a sharp increase in debt service, diverting resources from much-needed spending in areas such as health, education and infrastructure. But the experts say all is not lost, and this can be reverted through aggressive domestic mobilization for economic development. Natalia Koliadina is the IMF resident representative in Ghana. The spring 2018 regional economic outlook points to the rapidly rising debt as a key challenge facing the region. What needs to be done to reduce debt vulnerabilities? What could be done to ensure its sustainability? How it could be done without significant negative implications for economic growth? The Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, said despite the country's impressive economic growth, Ghana cannot continue to rely on external support, and therefore the government's strategy to build a Ghana beyond aid through the effective use of her natural resources. We are compelled, ladies and gentlemen, to re-examine our natural resource control and governance strategy our resource from exemptions to carried interest and how to use our natural resources to better build a, a prosperous uh, economy. Dr. Baumia called for fruitful collaboration with all African countries on all fronts to speed up economic growth on the continent. What is needed is a regional strategy to mineral resource development from gold to bauxite to manganese and iron in order to move up the global value chain for each of these minerals. The IMF is therefore calling on African leaders to roll out prudent fiscal policies, especially by mobilizing domestic revenue, seen as a critical tool for key infrastructure and social spending to reduce the level of poverty on the continent.